Happy Monday, Samsung. With another week beginning, this means we get another chance to upgrade our exercise with what we know of as Movement Monday. While it's a rather common movement in exercise programs, the reverse lunge is not something that comes naturally to most. Extremely applicable to everyday function, let's find out how and why this exercise needs to be a part of our weekly practice. Per usual, it's wise to know the musculature involved because it will help us understand the lunge a bit better. The primary tissues involved in this movement are the quads, adductors, and glutes, but we all know that exercises like this will also recruit the core to keep our bodies upright. While we'll need mobility in all of our lower body joints to get this done correctly, our focus should always be on the knee first. Specifically, we'd like you to be cognizant of your forward knee as you go through your full range of motion. We want you to avoid what is called a valgus knee collapse or an inward knee positioning as you move. Remember, our knees listen to whatever the hips or feet tell it to do. So grip the ground with those toes and shade the knee outward to turn on your outer glutes. Now let's take a closer look at this exercise in action. While it's done with just body weight, notice how he stays upright with his torso as he works. That should stay locked in, but your goal should be to take a huge step backwards so that you give yourself enough room to get deeper. Let the toes and foot flex when you step back, but be sure to keep your feet hip width so that your balance doesn't take you away from moving well. Lastly, don't forget about creating a solid structure from the foot before you begin so that we can keep that knee in line and working well. All this lunge talk has my legs feeling the burn already. Before you get into some yourself, let us know in the comments below your favorite equipment to lunge with. Until next time, y'all.